and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and today I am using up these leftover paints. Really need to get rid of them now so I've picked a smaller canvas. This is the paint that I had scraped up from the last pour and I've added a bit more uh, Prussian phalo blue to give it a bit of brightness and a bit make it a little bit darker. Now one of my other paintings I used these colours with, um, my husband said he thought it looked a little bit like a bird of paradise so I have mixed up a little bit of orange to go with it as well. So let's get started. So I've got my uh, 12 by 16 inch canvas here set up on a spinner. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to spin it yet but I just wanted to be able to if I needed to. So I'm going to pop down my base which is this really pretty dark turquoise colour. Uh, I've got a little bit left there. So I like to save a little bit for the corners if I need it. Now I need to be able to tilt as well. All right. I'm not sure if that's enough but I'm going to go quite heavy with my colours because I've got a lot of colours and I want to use them all up. So I'm going to start with this blue. I'm going to start it right on the edge. I'm going to do lines. Add a bit extra. So I want to make sure that colour is in there. And I'm going to go down in colour. I might go easy on the turquoise because uh, that kind of dominated last time. And it's got that um, aquamarine by Extreme Sheen in it that kind of makes it pop through as well. Now do I want to go... Maybe I'll do the orange last. Let's put the yellow in. And the gold. And then the red. I mean the orange. I'm going to do quite a bit of that. Because I've got a lot of it. So I may as well. And let's bring that sort of that way I think. And then I might go this way. And that way hopefully I'll have enough paint. Um, yeah, I'll work it out. We'll make sure it goes. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I, I do probably have a flow paint somewhere that's kind of a bluey colour. Let's see how this goes first. All right, swipe time. And go very slow. Wow, that's really pretty. That is beautiful. Can I do that again? I'm going to go from this side. Uh, just put a little bit more of that down. I've still got a bit left. I'm trying to trying to be smart here and make the most because I might need to pour something down there yet. Pour it all out of this blue this time. And use up all of this. I think a small amount of the turquoise worked well. I can use that as a flow extender. 
So yeah, I've got options. Uh, the yellow. Gold. And lots of orange. Look at that. It's like a rainbow, isn't it? Get the white out. This is going to be very colourful, this one. Here we go. I'll come off the side over here. Already. Let's give it a tilt, I think, first before I spin, if I want to spin. Maybe, maybe I don't want to spin. Give it a light spin. I need to take this edge off here. this side I might not need to spin it actually I think this might be enough I love the blues. That's pretty cool. 
if I spin it more, I'm going to lose my blues off there, so I'm not going to spin it. Well, I made good use of my paint. I'm happy with that. Do I want to bring that yellow through? I think I do. Oh, I've got to be careful though. There's a little bit of yellow in there. Mmm, pretty lacing. That is absolutely stunning. So is that. My green is pushing through again, the turquoise. I'm glad I haven't used a huge amount of it. I'm not sure how much it's going to bubble through. It's probably just going to be in a small section on each. Alright, I will get this off the spinner and I'll bring you in for the wet look. Okay, here is the wet result. And you can see my turquoise is still expanding, but I don't think it'll go much further than that. Through here, I have the gold and I feel like it comes down through here and it also goes up through there. So that's going to be really pretty to see. I have a look at the blues, the lacing and the turquoise gets carried through the orange and the yellow. Like I said, I've got the gold there. Some of that bright colour up in the corner there. Very interesting. I think it's going to be nice. It's very tropical. I don't know. I'll bring you back when it's dry. Okay, here is the dry result. And this has turned out beautifully. Um, I'm going to show you first the turquoise that had... That I said was going to expand and I think it's just expanded just the right amount you know it's come through and it just gives that variation um, but it's not like taking over and again over here it's beautiful and this part up here is like a rainbow with the blues the greens the yellows the orange that's pretty cool we've got a nice pop of gold here I'll show you the shine and then over here we've got some gold running through the lacing there very nice hmm lacing is crisp the way I like it um, we've got some bright white popping against the blue the dark turquoise color is really pretty and this is just like a a tropical holiday or something I don't know it's pretty so that's it for this one guys I hope you enjoyed that um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I shall see you all in the next one bye